It's a city where anything can happen. So what could go wrong or right as I hit up LA Unscripted. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Dana Devon and welcome to LA Unscripted. It's your show where we discover and uncover all things LA. Now, did you know that California actually has two official state dances? There's the West Coast Swing and there's square dancing. Yeehaw! <laughs> and as you guys know, I am all about the dancing. I am an amazing dancer, as you've seen. Hmm, still waiting. Dancing with the Stars hasn't called yet. And speaking of, do you guys remember Dancing with the Stars pro and judge Julianne Huff? Well, during quarantine, the pro launched a new workout app. And so now you can sashay your way to working out with her for free in this Healthy Vibes. Julianne, I'm so glad to see you, by the way. And you look amazing. I love you with dark hair. I've never seen I've never seen you like that before. Thank you. Are you making any changes? I mean, you're obviously so fit and so healthy. Even as healthy and fit as you are, do you like make New Year's resolutions? Instead of actually making goals to achieve first, I actually think about like, how do I want to feel this year? I want to feel energized. I want to feel peaceful. Mm -hmm. I really want to feel peaceful. I want to feel really balanced. I want to feel, um, I want to feel sexy. So uh, like all these different things that I'm feeling, I'm like, okay, so now how, what are the things that I need to do to make me feel that way? And that is so much more sustainable because you're, you're really, making a goal for like the quality of your life mm -hmm. versus what you're trying to achieve. That is really good advice. I always pick a word um, a year. So like last year was like pure, clean slate. Like <laughs> this year I was like, I definitely got what I asked for. I was like, so this year I was like healthy and all, right. and like, I know that sounds so basic and generic, but like healthy, healthy, like mind, healthy body, healthy mm -hmm. emotions. Are you guys ready to have some fun? Let's go work out. Woo! There are so many like online fitness platforms, apps, but this is the first one I've seen in a while that is free. Good people create good things. And I think at the end of the day, it's like, uh, Kinergy is my company that I started. And like, I'm <clears throat> very you know specific about who I partner with because it's not just about scaling and making money and stuff like that. It's like totally changing the, the paradigm of the world that we live in right now. Like. I want to work with people who are putting good things out in the world and fit on is doing that. It's literally a free app. Let's sway. Okay. Hey. hey. I really wanted to be a part of this because Kinergy really is such a different kind of method or workout that like really doesn't exist. Um, and so to be able to be on that platform and sort of introduce this kind of new workout to people in a, in a way that, um, you know, like I said, is accessible to people. That for me is why I created this workout is because it's not about the outside in, it's the inside out. If you feel good from the inside out, like your body will change. And you know, Julianne also said that working out can help release some of those emotions that have been weighing you down during quarantine. Okay, from dancing to West Hollywood's iconic delivery service, have you seen Pink Dot's new high-tech robots roaming the streets? I had to stop by and say hello to Pinky, Dolly, and Solly on Sunset Boulevard. Can this actually navigate through a crosswalk? It knows how to navigate a crosswalk. It knows when the red hand is flashing. It knows when the green guy is, is saying walk. And you know, it crosses at, at normal speed, just like a human. When it's going down the sidewalk, it knows when somebody is in its way. It'll pull over. Sometimes it'll even say, excuse me. These robots are a lot smarter than they look. This is Dottie here. It's one of my favorites. They have their own personalities. Take me through an actual order. You place an order through Pink Dot on the Postmates tablet. You get the option of either having a live person deliver it to you or one of our robots. If you choose the robot option, then the robot will 
come here just as if a, a live person would be picking it up. And our uh, employees come outside, they fulfill the order. Do you see more and more people open to this idea because of the pandemic? The beauty of this is it'll eliminate one less person from touching your food and it also eliminates contact with the customer and the drivers. And then now that we're here today and it, it is working and I see it live, making deliveries, very, very proud of what they've done. Oh, Dottie, you did such a good job. How cute. And today, you know, you can pretty much have anything delivered anytime, even my 15 year old's favorite food, dumplings. So that's why he decided to Dana double dog mom dare me to learn how to make them. Hello, I'm Dana's son, Cole. Uh, today, I will be daring my mother, uh, who does not know how to cook at all. When she made meatballs, my dogs wouldn't even eat the leftovers. Mom, I dare you to make dumplings. Oh, really? Is that true? Okay, well, dare accepted. I'm here with Mae Hinneman from the Gorman D School, and she's actually gonna walk me through how to make dumplings with coal. We're making today our chicken and chive hot stickers. What's really, really easy about dumplings is that basically we just have to add the ingredients to it and mix the filling. Dana, have you ever separated an egg yolk before? I have, shockingly. Take your chives and thinly slice it. Who's doing the chopping here? Is it Cole, are you doing the chopping? Even Cole doesn't trust me with a knife. Okay, that looks really, I mean, it's starting to smell like it, I think it should smell. What is really important, guys, is that you don't overstuff because we want to be able to seal this. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and go for it, okay? About a medium heat, a good drizzle of oil, and start laying your dumplings in your pan. Okay, lid on. Okay. Do a little dip and let's hope that they're, co they're cooked. I think they should be cooked. <laughs> They're cooked. Oh, cooked. It's good. We did it. I cooked something. See? I mean, I told you, you can do it and you can do any filling you want. Thank you so much. I did it. I well, completed the dinner. Of, it was like half because, hey! because, you know, I had to make half of it. Cool. You know those online classes and delivery services can really help people like me in the kitchen. Okay, hungry for more? Coming up, how to host a pandemic safe pop-up picnic. Plus, become a pedal pusher. How a simple bouquet of flowers can boost your mood. Plus an in-depth look at Steve McQueen's LA Legacy. fatigue, safer at home stress. Hi everyone, I'm Dana Devon and we want LA Unscripted to be a break in the bleak. When you watch LA Unscripted, we want you to have the same feeling that you get, oh, I don't know, like when someone gives you flowers. Exactly, oh my God, aren't these gorgeous? And trust me, when Jador Lefleur is delivered, elation and euphoria is sure to grow. And now the blossom bosses behind these beautiful bouquets zoom in to keep us in the know about flower power. Flowers help people survive the difficult times and they have a huge healing capacity. What is it about your flowers that are so different than everybody else's? We definitely think that we have a certain aesthetic and we stay true to our aesthetic. We take in consideration of the different textures of flowers and how to mix it up together with vibrant colors or softer tones. Freshness of the flowers are very, very important with us. 
inspiration came from the uh, Victorian era head boxes. Even in 2013, uh, Alisa traveled to Paris. Our mother-in-law is a floral designer and we wanted to create something that had the Parisian twist. Flower um, deliveries and sales, I believe, went up a little bit. And customers calling us saying, oh my God, during the pandemic, your flowers made my grandmother so happy or made my aunt so happy or even if it's just because or an occasion. Is it true that occasionally you'll go through your comments and you'll pick out someone that commented and you'll send them a, a free bouquet of flowers? We love giving back to the community. have a lot but I have a vase here is there anything you guys can teach me about how to design like a floral arrangement I can give you some tips the first thing that you would need to do is remove the foliage you don't want to take out too much you can also shake them to blossom them up a bit okay one thing to always remember is the any flower has a face you always want the flowers to kind of look at you another very important tip is you cut the stem and cut it at a 45 degree angle the stem is able to absorb the water much faster. Look how pretty that looks. I've never had a reaction to flowers like I have with yours. Okay, so flowers feed the soul, but how about a good book for the brain? Now our Olivia de Bartoli cracks open a good one in LA's King of Cool. Known as the King of Cool, Steve McQueen was one of the greatest movie stars of his time. And he just happened to live in this house right here in the Hollywood Hills. What's fascinated me about Steve McQueen is just that, you know, he, he was uh, a very charismatic individual. He kind of represents, uh, uh, to me, kind of a lost American icon that you don't see anymore. A guy who's not very politically correct. A guy who did things his own way. It's called Steve McQueen in his own words. The reason why I did the book was because many, many biographies have been written about Steve McQueen. Um, and Steve McQueen uh, almost did a memoir on his, he was trying to do one on his deathbed and it didn't happen that way because he had advanced cancer. You know, wouldn't it have been cool if Steve McQueen could have finished that book? Um, and the only way that I felt that I could perhaps pull this off was to assemble all of his quotes uh, that he gave in interviews and press releases and all sorts of different artifacts, assembling them together in chronological order. One fun fact that you think that doing all your research that nobody knows about uh, Steve McQueen. Go. Oh. He was a towel boy in a brothel. <laughs> you don't get a lot of movie stars making that claim. He was supposed to be there the night that Sharon Tate was killed at her house. Um, he was driving a motorcycle. He picked up a hitchhiker on the road and then they went off and did a, their own thing but he was invited there that night. If you had to choose, you know, one actor in this day and age that is most like Steve McQueen, who do you think that would be? Well, I would say Brad Pitt as a young person, and I would say Kevin Costner as an older person. This book took me six years to compile because I had to go through thousands and thousands of photos because I wanted each quote to match the photo. So doing his early life and his late life, I had, I had complete matches for those. But when you start talking about esoteric things, that's what took a lot of time. There is so much film history here. So now from the city to the beach, our own Megan Tellis is checking out a pandemic safe pop-up picnic. Newport Beach, we are outside. The weather is perfect today, and I have the mask right here just in case, but we are gonna keep our social distance. Let's go meet Sara Imena. Look at you, Hi, my Megan. friend. This pop-up picnic is gorgeous, and you've been in business for the past two years. Two Where years. are you from? I'm from Rancho Cucamonga, Fontana area, representing the IE. Usually I'm a one-man band, okay. but for a group of six or a group of five, yeah. we had a little bit more people. So I had my mom help me and my amazing boyfriend. This is it, you're a Latina. It's all about the family, right? Correct. And we all come together and we help each other out and you've definitely helped me out. 
As soon as they walk up and the bride-to-be walks up, she's gonna see Jay's Bachelorette Beach Brunch. Okay, and then bring us this way. And for each of these pieces, they're add-ons, right? How much is it for a pop-up picnic? So for something like this, for two people, it'll be about $3.25. Okay. Depending on if you wanna add an arch, if you wanna add a drink station, if you wanna add a balloon arch. For $3.25, you also get food included, and that's a full entree dessert. You get appetizers, drinks, everything. Okay, it takes a couple hours to yeah. put together on the beach, but how about in the front end? Yes, yeah, so I like to make sure that everything is perfect. This entire thing took me about a week to prepare. We have candles, we have flowers. You walk me through these different pieces and where do you keep these at your house? Yes, when I first started my business, you know, a Latina mom, she's supportive, <laughs> but she's a little hesitant. And so I would just store everything in our garage. And so right now we've kind of organized that a little bit more. And so my inventory is actually in my home garage. A lot of people right now during COVID yes, saying we want picnics. Really. People want intimate gatherings, you know, something that they can do with their family, um, their, their close friends, you know, of course, socially distanced. And so this has been very popular during uh, COVID. They just want to make sure that everything is clean, sanitized, um, and that's something that I make sure that I do for them. Do you see parties of two, parties of six, parties of 10 and 15? What would you say is most common right now? So the most common thing would be parties of two, but there are a lot of intimate weddings. So you're not just picnics, you're events. Events. You I like do, to decorate I do it a space. All. I do it all. I love to decorate a space, environment, the vibe, weddings, uh, birthdays, kids parties, anything, you name it, I do it all. Picnics have become super popular during the pandemic. Coming up, Beyonce's favorite dancing duo dares me to tie some tap shoes on. LA Unscripted, we want to do it all with you. Safely, of course. Have you uncovered or discovered something really special during the quarantine that you want to let us know about? What do I 100% say yes to? Tap dancing, of course, and you should too. I'm Chloe. I'm Maude. Hey, Dana. We dare you to tap dance with us. your dare, I would love to learn how to tap Yay! dance. We're so excited to dance with you. I don't have any shoes. Bam! Oh Bam! Yeah, go! Yes. Wow! And they are the Chloe and Maude tap shoe with block. I love them so much! I feel like I'm doing it. <laughs> Is we're that right? We're definitely going to need to refine. Okay. <laughs> because we're on our different sides, I can take, oh, I'm going to take my mask off. Okay. okay. How did you guys get started in tap? Oh, wow. Well, we've been tap dancing since we were kids. How did people start finding you on Instagram? Our first video was um, that really went big was to Beyonce's End of Time. She shared the video. She wrote, they killed it. And then after that, it was, it's honestly from that, it catapulted the last seven years of nonstop work. I'd almost forgotten about tap until I see you guys do it in this modern, unbelievably fresh way. It's like you've taken this, this kind of thing that was like almost vintage and quaint and made it new again. It, what's the reaction that you're getting from people? Well, it's absolutely amazing. We're so fortunate because that we did have a lot of the tap legends teach us as kids, mm -hmm. but the reality is when we looked at their careers and said what made them so special is that they were being true to themselves in their time, in their mm -hmm. space. And so that's really our mission, is being true to ourselves, being right now in this moment. Do you think I can learn to do this? Yes. Really? Yes, if you can walk, you can dance. All it's about is the willingness to try. First, a shuffle. Okay. A shuffle makes two sounds. And all of it's done with your toe. Oh, okay. metal right here on your toe. Okay. Okay. So you go forward, you go back, and you step. Five, six, seven, eight. Shuffle, step, shuffle, step. During this 
this kind of quiet time during the pandemic, can people learn at home to do what you do? Yes. Yay. We have several classes online, and we have something for everybody. We have the syncopated babies, which are four to eight-year-olds. We have beginner, intermediate, advanced, and then we also have a new program. Um, it's called Joyful Movement, and it's a meditation for dance about joy. Sweetie has kind of our anthem. Yes. Uh -huh. Tap in. You know, it's about getting your girls together, tapping into what makes you happy. And right. in this case, we're tapping in to the love for tap dance. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to take some of the steps you already learned, okay. but now we're going to make a rhythm and pattern. Heel, heel, toe, toe, heel, heel. Then they go fast. Now this step is going to repeat every time she says tap, tap, tap in. Five, six, seven, eight. Better tap in. Tap, tap, tap in. If you guys want to tap, tap, tap in at home, go to chloeandmod.com for lessons. Private villa in the fire chit chiller. When he posts me, all the get sicker. Online classes are open, and seriously, you are never too old or young to learn how to shuffle ball change. That is it for us. We packed this show full of LA-centric fun things to do. We hope you enjoyed. Tomorrow, come on back. We'll be right here. Until then, stay safer at home. <laughs>